diversified use cases in 5G have become realizable due to highly capable waveform features. 5G NR uses OFDM or Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing, which is a very smart frequency division multiplexing or FDM technique. Traditional FDM method allowed multiple users to share a single link by dividing available bandwidth into many non-overlapping frequency subchannels. A smart guard band between these subchannels is used to avoid interference with adjacent channels. But in OFDM, these subchannels are closely packed, overlapping with each other without any guard band. Implementation of OFDM deals with application of Fast Fourier Transform or FFT to modulation and demodulation processes to generate carriers orthogonal to each other. In very simple mathematical language, orthogonal properly means perpendicular signals that further state that these signals travel without crossing each other. At the peak point of signal, waveform 2 in the middle has adjacent signals at the null point. Similarly, peak points of signal waveform 1 have other two at null point. Same is the case with signal waveform 3. This is the concept applied in OFDM that multiple subcarriers are digitally multiplexed and modulated in a way that the peak of one signal has a null point of signal waveforms of other adjacent signals. Demultiplexers on the receiver side would separate these signals applying the same technique. Frequency separation or spacing between the peaks of adjacent signals is known as subcarrier spacing. This concept has been used in LTE, but in the case of 5G NR, there are more modifications to this technique. To understand these in a slightly better way, let's look at an example. Suppose an operator has a 10 MHz of total spectrum from 900 to 910 MHz. This carrier spectrum has many modulated subcarriers embedded inside it. In LTE, these subcarriers are placed at 15 kHz spacing. As per LTE specifications, 600 such subcarriers can be accommodated in a 10 MHz spectrum that adds up to 9 MHz. A direct current or DC subcarrier without any information is placed at the center during downlink transmission only for synchronizing user equipment devices. Left out areas on both sides after subcarriers act as the overall guard band. In 5G NR, the location of the DC subcarrier is not fixed and few extra subcarriers can be accommodated to further increase spectral efficiency. The digitally encoded user data is modulated using phase shift keying or PSK or quadrature amplitude modulation or CAM techniques known as symbols. On time domain, symbol duration is strictly fixed at 1 by 15 kHz which means 66.7 microseconds. 14 such OFDM symbols were placed in 1 millisecond distributed over 12 subcarriers of 15 kHz spacing to form a rectangle of resources of 180 kHz. In 5G NR, subcarrier spacing of 15, 30, 60, 120 and 240 kHz are supported. Data transmission at 15 kHz in 1 millisecond now will happen in 0.5 millisecond at 30 kHz spacing. Same concept gets extended further for 60 kHz in 0.25 millisecond and so on. This is because with the double fold increase in subcarrier frequency spacing, symbol duration gets reduced to half. This ultimately lets more data throughput transmission in lesser time durations and hence there is increase in data rates in 5G NR compared to LTE. This scalable OFDM technique gives an asset to an operator to acquire more spectrum bandwidth to fulfill varying use case requirements of 5G.
The scalability of the waveform in OFDM can be chosen according to the formula 15 times 2 raised to the power n in kilohertz, where n is an integer and 15 kilohertz is the subcarrier spacing.